Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Rockford, Illinois, with the f newbie frauditor, Mr. Transparency Audits Illinois, as he attempts to uh, audit a bus station and, well, finds himself getting arrested, but not before he makes a bunch of claims about who he is and everything like that. And, well, uh, it doesn't really pass the sniff test. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching this moron make a total fool out of himself. This is Rockford's Transit Buses, y'all. These are the new uh, hybrid buses. They got, they're pretty nice, actually. They got chargers, phone chargers, and everything on them, bro. But yeah, they're pretty nice. They pull it out now. This is one of the shifts. But yeah, this is a new place. They just, uh, Sort of new here yeah, a couple years, but it's a nice property. Oh, come on now, dude. Show a little bit of expression in what you're doing. Make it pop. Make it your own. Don't make it rather banal. Do something. Don't be a monotone asshole. I mean, you're a First Amendment auditor. At least have some fire in your voice. At least have something there. For the audiences to grab on to and uh, be a bit more hostile than what you are. So, yeah, that's the, the building down there you see with the doors. And it goes, it's a glass one as it goes all the way over there where the different buses are. But, yeah, nice property. Uh, my battery kind of low, so I don't get to pull up for too long. But I had a few minutes. I had gotten some emails. Uh, oh. What's your name and badge number, bro? You don't even know who I am, bro, do you? Yeah, I know who you are. You're just another dumbass frauditor who thinks he's internet famous. Uh, but, dude, you've only got 52 subscribers, so even for a frauditor, you're still at the bottom of the barrel. And you're not that uh, bottom of the barrel stuff that you scrape off the uh, bottom when you remove everything. You're the mold that grows beneath the barrel. What's your name and badge number, man? Hey, this is public property, bro. This is public property. Hey, I'm an investigative journalist. Be very careful, bro. Nasty. You say that as if you believe that uh, somehow being a journalist grants you special rights and privileges above everybody else. Uh... I take it you've been watching way too many frauditors, my guess would be? Well, my friend, I guess you're just one of the many sheeple that bought this BS hook, line, and sinker. Congratulations, dude. You are an idiot. Okay. I can record anywhere on this property. It's public. I can record anywhere on this. This is public property. It's not private. Well, now, here's the thing, dumbass. If you hadn't even bothered to do any bit of research whatsoever uh, or anything like that, you would have found this little gold nugget right here. Apparently, this uh, particular agency requires members of the press to submit a form before they uh, do anything on their property. So, yeah, they do have a policy, and if you violate their policy, 
they will kick you out or have you arrested. So my question to you is, why the hell didn't you do any uh, research like any reputable uh, journalist uh, would do? Oh, wait, that's because you're not actually a journalist. You weren't trained as a journalist. You just call yourself one because you think you have more rights and privileges than everybody else by saying it. Am I right? So I have a right as a U.S. as a civil citizen to record anywhere in public. This is a First Amendment constitutionally protected activity, and you cannot turn it into a crime. No, it's not a crime. You can't turn it into a crime, bro. You wasting your time with me, bro. That's a private problem. No, it's not. This is public. There's, hey, bro, let me, do I really need to uh, educate you? You really want me to educate you right now? You don't know who you're fooling with. I got a degree, bro. Listen. What degree do you have? A BS in uh, dumbassery? What do you got? Because most people that uh, have a college degree just are not going to say, oh, I have a degree and... Uh, well, spout off a bunch of irrelevant bullshit like I'm sure you're about to do. This is public property, bro. Are you going to leave or not? No, I, I'm not leaving. You might as well call the police. You might as well call the police department, bro. Yep, might as well call PD. Because I'm not going nowhere. Hey, I'm an investigative journalist, and I'm c uh, gathering content for a story on the Rockford State. You don't... Who, what government agency gives out uh, to press passes, bro? I'm press. I'm press. Hey, don't delete that. Don't delete that because if you delete it, that's a crime. Okay? Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna foil you the body cam footage from that phone, bro. No, 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 no. Not when you're on duty. Not when you're on duty. Hey, I, I, I got a degree in this, bro. You're wasting your time. You keep on saying that you have a degree, but. So far, you haven't shown any evidence that you even graduated high school, let alone have a college degree. I mean, if you actually had a college degree, you would understand that uh, you would have to show your uh, work in order to prove that you know what you're talking about. And so far, I haven't seen any of that. I mean, come on now, dude. You can't fool everybody. And I'm sure... Maybe one or two of these officers has a college degree themselves. And at this point, they seem just as impressed as I am that you have not shown any evidence of it. Good freaking grief, dude. You're an idiot. You're wasting your time. I'm an investigative journalist. This is public property. It's publicly it's publicly funded. You know what? You want me to take you inside and show you? You know those big old gold plaques that's on the end of that building down there says this building is federally funded? Hey, this hey, this is whether it's city, state, or government, that's public property, bro. Hey, it's public property. I don't care about that. That doesn't trump the constitution. That doesn't trump that doesn't trump the constitution. Hey, my first amendment right gives me the right to record you and this property with no problem. If you think I'm wrong, call PD. I, I don't I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I care about the Constitution. I care about the, the, the laws of the Constitution. It's a First Amendment constitutionally protected activity for me to record in public. So I'm in public, so I'm going to record. This is public. No, this is public. This is public, bro. You about to get educated today, my brother. <laughs> you about to get educated. This is public property. I, I, you don't think I, you don't you think I got a degree for nothing? You think I got a degree for nothing, bro? You never finished that. Man, you wasting your time with me, bro. You wasting your time. Hey, I have a big passion for the Constitution. I'm not about to let you infringe upon my rights today, bro. I am not about to let you do it. You are nobody. You are a security officer, okay? I, I was in charge of 100 officers as a security supervisor. I know exactly what your responsibilities are to, to report. I'm not going nowhere. Wow, another bullshit claim right there. You know the responsibilities of every single security guard out there. It's to only observe and report. Where'd you get that from, Sean Paul Reyes? I mean, if you actually look on job websites that has a description of what a security guard does, it is much more complicated than observe and report. I mean, good freaking grief. You're more full of shit than some of these other frauditors. You're not making me leave this property. Watch and see if I stay right here. I'm going to record the whole... I can stand here and record the whole time this place is open. Oh, yes, I can. All right, we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see. You're going to see. You about to go viral, pal. <laughs> For real. You don't even know your job.
That's what's sad. I was in law enforcement for 15 years. You don't even know your job, bro. No, you're right. You say I'm journalist. No, you say I'm law enforcement. I, I am. I, I used to be. Used to be. Hey, you know what? I ain't got to explain nothing to you anyway because you ain't nobody. You walking around with that gun and badge thinking you something big. You ain't nobody, bro. That gun and badge don't scare me. You don't scare me, Metro. You don't scare me. What's that for the job? Oh, I've done it 15 years. I was in charge of 100 officers. So I know your responsibilities. I know your response, and I had a flawless record. And I was an FR agent too for 15 years. So guess what? Guess what? You know what? You ain't about to kick me off of this property. I know that. I'm gonna stand right here and I'm gonna record anything that I can see with my eyes from public. Exactly, including you. I have a right to record you. Oh yes, I do. You got it all wrong, bro. Hey, hey, you call him Rockford PD and tell them to come on over here because they're gonna tell you that they know who I am too. They're gonna tell you the same thing. So you're wasting your time, bro. You about to go viral. I will make you, hey, bro, you fool around and I'm not gonna let you violate my rights, bro. And I'm not gonna let you do anything to me. You try to put what? your, hey, I'm Why just trying to let violent? you know. Stay cordial. Why are you out of violence? Stay grow, hey, you're, you're all like that. What? You're tyrants. What? You're a tyrant, bro. I see it in you. I see it in you. I'm not the, for the tyrancy. The government help people. I don't care. Don't go to your job. I, 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 what do you mean? I don't need no government offer me no job. I'm already employed. I got my own business, bro. I'm already employed. I don't need to be, uh, I don't need the government. Amazon, they had it. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey, listen, you really, I'm really disappointed. They don't care if you have Hey, I'm really disappointed in law enforcement lately, especially tyrants like you. Especially tyrants like you. You know what? You're supposed to be out here. You took an oath to protect the Constitution in your in your duty, in your job, and you're not doing that right now. You're trying to violate my First Amendment right, and I'm not going to let you do it. I will sue you. I will take you to court and I will sue you, bro. I will sue you for violating my rights. And there's no qualified immunity in that. Okay? I'm just trying to tell you. You wasting your time fooling with me. They give you link. Hey, I don't care what I don't care what the government do. They should do it. It's tax dollars. They should be doing it. Okay? Uh, no, you know what I'm grateful for? Law enforcement out here following by the uh, following the laws of the Constitution and not not disrespecting people's rights. Not disrespecting people's you rights. You should be grateful you're born in the U.S. No, no. Should, what do you mean? You should be glad. Your, Man, what are you talking about? Are you trying to insult my country? Yeah. Where do you think I'm from, bro? I'm this from the U.S. I was born in the U.S. What are you trying to insult my... Uh... And there you go. This fraudster is going to be spinning this out of control from this point on because that officer said you should be grateful you were born in this country and elaborates on that later on because there are other worse countries that he could have been from, you dipshit. That's what he's trying to explain to you. But just go to North Korea and see how the police officers would treat you there. I guarantee you, you wouldn't argue with them on the streets. In fact, if you go to North Korea, the first thing they're going to make you do once they allow you in the country as a guest, they're going to make you go to the uh, Kim family statues and bow down to them. So don't call these officers tyrants when you have no freaking idea what you're talking about. Because, well, you haven't seen true tyranny in your entire life. Oh yeah, and uh, don't bother going to his channel to, uh, well, argue the, this point with him. Because, well, he's turned off the comments not just to this video, but all of his videos. So much for transparency. You're a complete and total loser, dude. What do you mean, go back to my country? What country do you think I'm from, bro? You have to fight for this country. What country do you think I'm from? You have to fight for this What country do you think I'm from? You said, go, you said I should be happy that the government allows me to stay in the U.S.? Man, you sound like a fool. You sound like an idiot. <laughs> what the? Man, what's, do you know how old I am, bro? I've been around here 60 years, bro. What are you talking about? You, you know what's sad? You don't know your job. That's what's sad. You got that gun and badge on and does not, do not know what your job is. You, you walk around here. Hey, I was asked, hey, whether you know it or not, whether you know it or not, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know what's going on right now. I am a First Amendment order. I'm a part of the First Amendment strike team. So I was told to come here by the people. Oh, my God. Who the hell Cash. Well, for one thing, it's a damn who what you are. I mean, as far as a First Amendment auditor goes, that's pretty much going to be an endangered species here in the next couple of years because you idiots keep on screwing everything up. And as a result of that, 
legislatures around the country are starting to make laws to uh, put a halt to your BS. You think you're actually winning? Uh, no. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but probably within the next two to three, maybe four years, your kind, you're the frauditors, the First Amendment auditors, will be nothing but a distant memory. And I'm sure these officers don't really care what a First Amendment auditor is. I mean, to most normal people, they don't want to know what you are. I mean, you're just a uh, man who has no power trying to act like a big shot. And if you were actually a police officer, well, I bet you were kicked out because of your stupidity. You must have done something in your past to get kicked out, and now you're all but heard about it. Well, grow the F up, man. The people sent me here saying that you you guys were down here kicking people out of this building, keep, you know, kicking people out of this building and off this property, and it's public property. It's not private. Walk of shame. Walk of shame. Walk of shame. Take the walk of shame, bro. You're messing with the wrong person. You're wasting your time, bro. Did you call PD yet? Because uh, a Rockford Police Department know me. They know who I am. So I'm not about to let y'all infringe upon my rights today. I guarantee you that. I'm going to stand here and record as long as I can record because it's a First Amendment constitutionally protected activity. And there's nothing you can do about it, bro. You can't turn it into it. That's why he walked away. That's why he walked away. Because he already know. You don't want to fool me. You can't be kicking people off of no public property, bro. So you refuse to leave? Yeah, yeah, I refuse to leave. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I no, you can't, you can't detain me, man. Get the fuck up out of here, bro. You ain't about to chain me on no public property. I ain't got to, there's no, no, you better call PD. You're out of your jurisdiction. You better call PD. And that's another thing that just makes me think that he was never a cop to begin with. He just idly used the word jurisdiction, saying the cop was out of his jurisdiction. Well, uh, he is uh, part of the transit authority, so... Therefore, this is his jurisdiction, you lame brain moron. And if you were actually a cop, you would have known that. That's what you better call. I don't care what you do, bro. You do what you do. Don't put your hands on me. I know that. You put your hands on me, it's a lawsuit. Okay. Okay? I'm on public property. I'm not doing nothing, not committing no crimes. No, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere, bro. Okay. Uh, and don't touch it. Hey, man. Hey, man, get your hands. Hey, get Well, stupid is, it's stupid does, and this guy was certainly a stupid little SOB. He definitely exposed himself as a fraud. Just like you're a fraud when you say you uh, have a degree. Because you never proved that throughout the whole video. You kept on saying you were going to educate them as far as you having a degree on everything. Well, you failed at that. So, another lie right there. You are not a cop. You don't have a degree. You're just some... Uh, Loser who just couldn't make it in life, and now you're just taking it out on the world. And the First Amendment auditing thing was probably the best way you could do it. That's probably what you are, and that's all you ever will be. So congratulations, dude. You have won the Lifetime Achievement for being the biggest loser award. So enjoy it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?